There's Poirier. Will Poirier dances into the zone. But it's poked back out by DeJong. Jeremy Poirier. Poise personified for the 16-year-old. DeJong high off the glass. And there's now 25 seconds left in the Kyle Foreman penalty. Well, see dog power play, not just able. It looks like we're ready to go. All right. No harm done. Mika Sear wins the faceoff against Maxim Chaikovic. And Jeremy Poirier controls for St. John. Left side, Will Poirier will tap it for Josh Lawrence. Had two points in his debut on Friday night. Two points late in the game as well. Poirier forced back into the zone by Sear. Long outlet pass. Chaikovic for Lawrence as he dangles into the zone. Turns back at the top of the circle. Very aggressive PK by the Moncton Wildcats. Poirier down low. Will Poirier. Chaikovic, oh, he had Lawrence spotted in front. Good vision from the number one overall pick in the CHL import draft. Now Chaikovic, a hooking call coming up to LaRose as he spun around McKenna. But here's Tucker. He shoots, kicked out by Dorio. Dorio was sold available last year at the trade deadline. And he was landed by the Moncton Wildcats. Here's Kyle Foreman. Good-looking 17-year-old. Played for Woodstock last year. Spence. Walks in. That's what they like about Spence. Much like Poirier, that poise from the point. Spence again at the blue line. His shot bounces into Dorio and he'll... Uh, the opposition. They just have not been able to get anything going down in the Moncton end. Wildcats uh, have a pretty similar roster to last year, really. Not a whole lot of turnover, especially compared to a lot of other teams in the division. Maxim Chaikovic. Pass skips on Will Poirier. They're out there with the rookie Josh Lawrence. Lawrence from Fredericton is in a battle with Jake Stewart over on the far side. Now Jeremy Poirier. Gains the blue line, then the red. He'll flip it deep. Lavalet comes out to play it. And that was very close. They don't have that restricted zone in midget AAA hockey. Turned over on the way out by Bergbauer. Chaikovic's shot is deflected high. That stays in the rink. Looked like it might hit the mesh. And now Jake Stewart, the fourth line shift here for the Wildcats. That's sent ahead for Elliot Bergbauer. He turns it over. Now a chance for the Sea Dogs. Chaikovic in, and he was looking for that far post low blocker. Slid it wide. Look at the move by Poirier. Wow, this kid. Chaikovic kicks it and Lavalier makes the save. 7 5 here in the first period. Sea Dogs still looking for their first goal. Josh Lawrence wins the faceoff against fellow rookie Elliot Denoyer. Those guys are going to play against each other oh, about 27 times over the next three years. Denoyer. Sylvester shot. Higgins chased in, hit by Foreman. Ahead for Chaikovic. Lawrence follows up the play. Josh Lawrence. Loses the puck in the high slot. And back comes Nicholas Kingsbury Fournier. The net. Jeremy Jacob is stopped by Lavallee. Charles Antoine Lavallee stands tall with Jeremy Jacob bearing down. Preserving the 2 0 lead for the Wildcats. Here they come looking for more. And it's going to be a third power play for the Wildcats in the first period. They needed that one to start this second period. We'll see if they can build on it. Three points already for Josh Lawrence. That puts him second in rookie scoring early in the year. Four points for Yaroslav Likachev for Gatineau in their big win the other night. And I hope I don't have to do too many games with that guy in the lineup. That's quite a handle. A lot of consonants going on there. Here's... Jeremy McKenna down the right side. He'll throw a cross ice. Capanelli's going to get there first. And Will Poirier, who assisted on Lawrence's goal. Those guys have found each other numerous times here through the first couple of games. Josh Dixon's got to like that. Now Chaikovic is going to try and send Lawrence away again. Lawrence with Poirier. Lawrence drags. Lawrence is in. And he scores! Fuck well. And you've got to believe that... Uh the coaching staff for St. John quite pleased with this uh, young defensive core. Well, and it's the same script we saw here Friday night. The Sea Dogs got down 2 nothing, and have pulled their way back into the game. And, you know, you never want to fall down 2 nothing, but uh, the adversity and, and getting back from it is...
experience you can't teach. Aspero fights his way into the zone. Now Capanelli's shot up high. Dorio with a shoulder save. And Chaikovic back the other way. He's looking for Will Poirier. Aspero swoops back in defensive posture. And here's Mika Sear. Sear battles into the zone. They said Aspero stayed at the Ottawa camp a little longer than they expected. Hang on, turnover, Capanelli. And Dorio was going one way, had to kick his leg back the other. They said Aspero, Aspero hung around Ottawa. Oh, Lawrence, uh, those young kids have that elasticity that we don't have so much. Bruce. Here's a two-on-one off the draw. Capanelli breaking in. Capanelli shot rebound just past Havanoff. Now Lawrence quickly in transition the other way, and LaRose made a pass to William Poirier, who has stopped at the blue line. Oh, wow, some confusion, and now Stewart is hurt as he has his face drilled into the glass. Poirier from the blue line. Fakes, takes it outside, spins around Pataki, still with the puck, Jeremy Poirier. You kidding me. Here's Lawrence. And a nice poke check from Lavallee. Lawrence almost had the hat trick. And another. Dorio completely changed direction on him. Here comes Lawrence. He's got two goals. Now he's on a breakaway. Josh Lawrence is stopped by Lavallee. Chukovic scores. Did that ever leave a stick in a hurry? We get the breakaway. Lawrence being crowded and didn't have the time he wanted. But here is on a rope. That one is so that real quick. This could really escalate if you get teams taking liberties with goaltenders. Well, and as you know, Sites already got it one shot in on Dorio. All right, so the Sea Dogs go to their second power play in this wild and woolly game, game two on the schedule. And wow, what a start to this season! Lawrence drops it at center for Jeremy Poirier. That is offside. Any of that in the early going of this season. It's been uh, it's been a lot of fun to see uh, the competition here at Harbor Station. Josh Lawrence did get an assist on that last goal. By the way, that's his third point of the afternoon. Five points in his first two games, and now in sole possession of the rookie scoring lead. Albeit it's early, but hey, we're allowed to get excited over the kid, aren't we? Larose leaves for Poirier. And around the end board, Stewart doesn't get enough on the clearing attempt. Jeremy Poirier closes down. And it's hacked down the ice by Brady Pataki. Long change in the second. So it's 29-22 in favor of the Wildcats. The Sea Dogs lead on the scoreboard. Jeremy Poirier fans on the pass. Get some help for Lawrence, or from Lawrence rather, who came back to help out. Charlie DeRoss through center. Chaikovic leaves it for Lawrence. He'll go around the perimeter for Will Poirier. Now back for Lawrence. Capanelli will play it for Kyle Foreman on the left wing. Foreman backhand pass for DeJong out of the zone. Looks like both teams are just going to try and get this one to the intermission the way it is. Here comes Lawrence one on three. He'll turn away from the pressure, play it deep. Spence is there for the Wildcats. He's bodied by Will Poirier. Will Poirier digging, and a good job by the 17-year-old Jordan Spence. Nicholas Kingsbury Fournier pulled down by Lawrence. Referees say no thanks. Get back on your feet, young man. That'll do it for the second period. A wild one. Lawrence for checking, and he'll chase Spence out of the zone. Touched into the zone by Capanelli. Wildcats are changing. We're tied at four at Harbor Station. Here's Will Poirier coming down the left wing. Poirier shot. Doesn't get through. Aspero gives him a couple for good measure. And away comes Ozzie King. King ahead for Kingsbury Fournier. A very regal sounding line. Poirier for LaRose. Right side for Chaikovic, who's got his first goal. A rocket up under the bar. Ooh, I don't know how that's not a penalty. It will be. Chaikovic gets the stick in. Will Poirier tried to get a little cute for Plamondon. 
And the penalty has expired, so three for five now on the power play are the Moncton Wildcats. And we've got a 16-minute hockey game, maybe more. We went to overtime here Friday night. Villeneuve for Campoli, back across the scene for Poirier. He takes a bump, now back pass, and they score! And it's a hat trick! Crowd. And he'll stay on the ice to take this face off. Three goals for the Sea Dogs today. He had two points the other night. Josh Lawrence, four points in this game. Well, Lawrence had talked about the, the family and friends uh, coming for the home opener Friday night. I hope they stayed for the weekend. Here he comes again. Exactly. Lawrence over the line with Poirier. The diving shot block, and Sylvester stays down after making that play. Well, how good has that got a feel for Josh Lawrence? Good, solid check. Off the face-off to the right of Charles-Antoine Lavallee. When he looks back at his Q debut, there's going to be a significant number of goals on the board behind him, but I think he's played well. Capanelli hooked coming into the zone by Chaikovic. Capanelli then leaves the zone, and Desnoyers and McKenna have to tag up. Elliot Desnoyers, he has two goals on the game. Lawrence hit by Capanelli. Up top, McKenna one-timer. That was tipped on the way through and wide. Spence races in. But it's Chaikovic the other way for the Sea Dogs. He's going to leave it for Villeneuve, who had just stopped skating long enough. And after Chaikovic dropped the puck, he was hit. I didn't see that, Bruce. I don't know if our cameras caught up the puck. But here comes Capanelli off the bench. Adam Capanelli one-on-one -on -one with Charlie DeRoche. He wins that battle. Chaikovic right back out there, so that's great to see. Pataki left side for Sykes. And now Sykes getting the uh, getting the treatment every time he touches the puck. Long outlet. Here's Chaikovic in for Poirier, and he lifts a backhander high and wide. Well, we know when Dylan Sykes is on the ice now anyway, Bruce. Yeah, that's for sure. And I think uh, Chaikovic's uh, got a little bit of a jam right now. He would love to uh, have a response uh, with a goal in your favor or against you. And it can be can happen very quickly. So Chaikovic with Lawrence, the two Poiriers, and Nathan LaRose. Jeremy Poirier. For Josh Lawrence. Lawrence into the slot. Kick save. What a stop by Lavallee using all of his frame there. And keeping the Wildcats in this game. Here's Lawrence. Swoops in to pick up the puck. Lawrence with three already. And he won't get it. By Brady Burns. Heck of a pass to send him in there as well. Top unit back out now with Chaikovic, the Poiriers. LaRose and Lawrence. And it's Chaikovic and Lawrence with four of the five goals today for the St. John Sea Dogs. Jeremy Jacob has the other. Here comes LaRose. They want to try and line up along the blue line. You can still blow through them. But it's just not uh, not setting up for St. John. Yeah, there's the, that total shift of not giving the puck away when you have it. Something the Russians had figured out back in the 60s. But hey, we caught up. Here's Lawrence. What a pass. Lawrence is in again. Didn't like his shooting angle. Campoli winds and fires in front. Poirier. Five seconds left in the penalty. Campoli, nice move. Carries it deep. Poirier is now in the high slot. Lawrence behind the net. He meets DeJong. Penalty's over. Chaikovic to the blue line. Campoli shot. Lavallee makes the save. Puck squirted loose. And he's...